What are some of the best things and worst things about working in the emergency department? I'm currently finishing up a two week rotation in the low acuity rapid care part of the ED and I can't wait for it to be over. So I just wanted to go over some of my thoughts. There's a lot of good things about working in the ED. A lot of times patients come in with one main primary issue. A lot of times they don't have super complicated past medical histories, so you don't have to do that much chart review. I like in the ED that you can basically be constantly seeing patients and you're not really spending so much time stuck behind a computer, which is kind of how it is in the hospital when we're seeing admitted patients. The other thing is that because the patients come in with one or two main issues, it's a lot easier to compartmentalize them and organize them when you're seeing them. Whereas in admitted patients, you know, we're keeping track of all their diabetes medications, their ache KI, their sodium levels, and then talking about all the different medications they're on for all of those different things. And the human brain is only really designed to hold like seven things at once. So when you're thinking about that many things, it can be really hard to keep track of everything while a patient's admitted. So I think if you're somebody who likes to do things rather than think about things, uh, the ED is definitely a good place to be. Some of the downsides of the ED are that a lot of people come in with these very nonspecific vague issues, and it can be really hard to figure out what they want and what they really need to get done. There's also so many like random eye complaints, which is really hard for me as an off-service resident. And now I get a really good perspective of what it's like being an off-service resident because in internal medicine, most of the time we're doing internal medicine and we get off-service rotators. And now I can feel how they feel when they come on because, you know, I'm treating this eye and I really don't have a great idea of what I should be doing for it. I definitely don't like that feeling. There's just, it's such a broad field. You have to know so much in order to be able to practice emergency medicine. The other thing I don't really like about the ED is that you basically have to choose your own patients. They'll show up red on the board and then you just like sign yourself up randomly for it and it's really easy for if somebody wanted to be lazy they could totally just get away with not really seeing that many patients and it's just a weird system where you had to pick up your own patients I don't really know what a better solution to it would be but if you go on our residency you can talk about some of the ED residents complaining about it that so you're rotating on EM it's got 373 comments and basically all of this was complaining about how off-service rotators are not picking up as many patients as the ED interns and residents it's just definitely a weird feeling because sometimes you're sitting there with four or five patients and you're like, do I really want to pick up another patient right now? Like if you really wanted to, you could see every single patient as soon as it turns red, just basically go, go, go as fast as you can. And it seems like the work is never ending. That's another downside to ED is like the harder you work and the faster you get people out, either home or admitted to the hospital, all of a sudden another patient's going to fill that spot. So it's almost like a, this never ending cycle where the harder you work, it just adds more work to your plate. So yeah, working in the ED is definitely a tough, uh, but very valuable experience. And honestly, I am just very thankful and appreciative. You know, to be able to work there for a couple weeks to see what they really do and just appreciate how much ED physicians and nurses do for us. It's honestly such a chaotic environment, but they really screen out so much and it's really one of the most thankless jobs in the hospital. So definitely appreciate all the nurses and doctors that are working in the ED.